How's it going, Chelsea Bros? Did you guys enjoy the first Mineral PC running Windows 10? Well, we did too, so we decided, hey, why not bring a brand new one and build it ourselves and actually show you guys the full build, and then we'll also do some really cool benchmarking. And by the way, this one's five times smaller. Enjoy. What is up guys? Hey, it's the Toasty Bros here and we are back with another computer build, but look how tiny this one is. Like, it's gonna be awesome. Like, five times smaller than our original one in all new parts. And then after we're done with it, what are we doing with it? We are going to sell it to one oh, of you. So, you never know who might buy it. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so basically what we're gonna do first is, um, this will actually be in three parts. So the first part's gonna be us showing you the parts, and also it'll be us um, starting with the case because obviously it's not really meant for a computer so we're gonna have to get all the drilling and all that done so uh, and then the second part will be us actually just putting everything in the case and you know seeing it turn on for the first time and then the third part will be us doing actual benchmarking because we know you guys want to see that all right so what we're gonna do is we'll use this knife we're gonna I'm gonna be opening this rather than Matt's <laughs> <laughs> there goes our SSD all right yeah. So I'll, I'll take this time to be like, here's our SSD. But anyways, let's just focus on this right now. This is the H80i Hydro series. So we decided to do this because we really wanted to take the CPU heat out of the question. So we decided, let's just get an all-in-one liquid cooler, stick it in there, and basically make it work. So we don't have to worry about doing radiator pumping and stuff for everything. Right, so you want to so talk small. about why we got yeah. such a nice one? We got this nice one because the tubing doesn't have rubber on it. And all these people have all these worries about rubber and mineral oil deteriorating. So we made sure it's made up of a material. What material is it made up again? It's called FEC, I believe. It's like a plastic um, compound or something like that, but no rubber. So okay, so it's that. not rubber, so you have to worry about deteriorating and stuff like that. So that's why we went with this one. Yep. We could have gone a lot cheaper, obviously, but, um, because I know you guys are like, like, why the hell did they get such a nice, you know, you know, cooler? Well, that's why, because we did not want, them um, any problems to occur, so, yeah. So this, yeah, this is gonna work out really well. I don't really know how this is gonna fit. This is probably one of the most expensive things at this building, yeah. I think about it. Alright, you wanna go ahead and open it? Alright, I'll go and see what it looks like. Okay. I'm box retarded, so give me a minute. <laughs> See, this is sort of my job to open it, but I was... What is wrong with this? I think, I think you gotta go the other way. Oh, that yeah. makes sense. <laughs> That's what we were trying to rip the box in half. It's like this. They do make it kind of a weird... Why is this such a weird thing? I think you pull this, the inside out somewhere. What do you mean somewhere? <laughs> How is this supposed to function? I'm gonna destroy this box. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> theory for this box right now. Yeah, you know what? You take over the box. Right. <laughs> Zoom it out. Uh. <laughs> oh! Alright, so yeah, we just gotta, we just gotta tug really hard on it. Got this, yeah, this. Alright. Alright, so uh, it looks like uh, what you get from Dairy Queen to hold your drinks. And this very amazing packing phone. Yeah, there you go. There you have it. Alright, so... Oh. it out. Alright, wow. Right, this is pretty... Get everything out of here. Let's, right, let's so look at the manuals is, and stuff first. It's just yeah. So first we got the HADI manual. This is um. Let's see. We got how to install. We got the different types of brackets and all that. This is a just a little pamphlet for them, like why Corsair. And this is a little warranty against defects, birth defects, to be exact. Birth defects. Yep. All right. So here's the pump in the radiator combo. Shimajigger. Shimajigger. I'll open this up. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. All right. So it smells fabulous. Okay. So here it is. You can see the fan's not pre-installed apparently. I actually yeah. thought it was, but you know, it's no big deal. You can stick the fan on. This is the control to put it in the fan header and everything. So yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> Look at that. It has a little like what is, is this? That's not micro USB, is it? It is because you can use oh. Corsair Link, which is yeah. like their software to manage the pump. Yeah, just this is way too nice of a pump for uh, like check out the processor. It's a AMD fifty three fifty, right, which is an APU. So. so we know it's overkill. Yeah. You don't have to tell us that. But. Yeah, but like like we said, we had to do it. You can see this tubing is really nice tubing, and then this logo will also glow. It'll look really cool. A nice big beefy uh, radiator here. Okay, so here's the uh, the USB for the Corsair Link. If you want to do that. Yep. Um, the fans. So they came with two fans. Two, two nice fans. Corsair fans. Can we put a fan on both sides. Yes, we can. <laughs> Apparently so. 
Oh. These are 120 millimeter. By okay, the way. then we got all the mounts and the back plates. So yeah. Okay. That's so basically got, this, so we can put yeah. this to his side. I think. Put, I like this side. Anything over there should not be in the video, I guess, so just put stuff over there that we're done with. Alright. Uh, uh, Alright, let's do the processor next. So next we actually went with the best AM1 processor we could find. Yes. And um, the reason we went with AM1 was because it's really cost efficient for actually pretty, you know, if you look at reviews, it's actually pretty good performance. And this is the best APU that we could find that fit mini ITX motherboards, so we figured, you know what, why not? Alright, so we'll go ahead and get this one open and then Matt's gonna take over and explain why we went with an APU. Alright, so or, yeah. we went with an APU because you see how tiny this thing is, first off. We're not gonna be able to fit a GPU really in there. I mean, we could yeah. try, but it probably wouldn't work out well. So we got this guy right here, and we won't need the CPU cooler, so we got a little... That's a yeah, small so CPU. Yeah. <laughs> it's so tiny. Um, so yeah, we, we went with this because, you know, we were hoping that with, um, a lot of times in mineral PC, what you do, if you look at our other build too, we actually have a radiator that basically sucks in the mineral oil itself and, you know, goes to the radiator loop and then puts it back in the oil. But, you know, we thought, well, this is the only thing that's going to really be putting off any heat once you see our processor, I mean, uh, sorry, once you see our, um, you know, our PSU and all that, you'll notice it really is the only thing that's going to be putting off any heat. So we said, combine the graphics plus the CPU, the main heat, you know, things that put off heat. However, I just said that, so we thought, why not use this? And now we don't have to worry about it because we well, have hello to the two viewers of our live stream. Apparently, we have two viewers. <laughs> All right, I think um, we might be one of them. Hang on to um, this. You can stick it on the location. Oh yeah, there we go. go. Yeah, that'd be sticker. nice. All nice right. little sticker. All right, so, so we got the CPU out of the way. Then what do you want to go with next? Let's do, uh, let's <laughs> the, do the RAM, the which ones. actually is not in a case because we took it out. All right, so is this four gigs? Yeah, it's four gigs of sixteen hundred. Speed. Yeah, so it's nice RAM and it'll be good for the APU. Um, it's basically it. We've already ha we already had this, so we didn't really need to. Yeah. So that's RAM. Yeah, we just recently bought that and haven't really used it, so it's chill right there. Yeah. All right, let's do this. This is actually a really cool motherboard. It's actually pretty nice looking. So you can see first we got the user guide with a little, I guess it's like an install, like a driver, CD yeah, driver disc like with another sticker. We got the I/O plate right here. I'm gonna go and pull out the. We got two, is that two SATA cables it looks like? Uh, yes, two SATA cables, and this, this motherboard is pretty nice looking. Yeah, it's it actually, it actually is a really, I think it was like 50 bucks, but it was definitely worth it. Alright, let's pull it out. IO plate, I'm not gonna really need that, I don't think. I like the colors. The colors are really nice. Let's see, I'll put it up here for you guys. Yeah. It looks really nice, and it's small, so it has, it has all the outputs so we'd want. Yeah, so it can fit in this little tiny tank, and it's gonna look really nice with mineral oil all over it. Yeah, it looks like, um... Yeah, there's HDMI on it, DVI, VGA, I mean, really, almost everything we want, and then there's, uh, we got RAM slots taped to, like, 32 gigs, which is pretty cool, if you wanted to expand on that. Um, so, that's pretty much all with the motherboard, it's what we need, it'll do the job. Yep. 8.1 ready, but we're gonna put Windows 10 on it today. That's Although we probably will go back later on and put Windows 8 on it, because 10's not really a... Still a beta, we'll just leave so. it up to the preference of who wants to buy it. Too. Yeah, we'll let them pick. Um, and then we got two things left. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll do we'll the case. Let's do the case okay. next. Let's put that on top of that. Okay, so next we have the... This is actually a one-gallon tank. It's the same version. If you look at our other mineral PC, it's the same tank, except it's miniature. So, yeah, you can see it's a little baby tank. This one also has a little LED light on it. And, um... Everything will fit in it pretty much perfectly. I've already actually checked and made sure and everything's a perfect fit. Um, I already have some ideas of how we're going to mount it and all that, so we'll get into that in a little bit. So pretty simple. Like I said, five times smaller. The other tank's at five gallons, so we'll get into it. Alright, we've got the SSD. I don't think, uh, should we actually open this for... Uh, we don't really need to. Um, yeah, I, I think they, it's, it's see-through, so you guys get the It's idea. basically an SSD. It's a 240 gig SSD, so it's going to be really fast. It's going to be great for this build, because SSDs are great for mineral PC builds, because you don't really want to have to stick a hard drive outside of it. Yeah. So you can just get an SSD, put it all in one thing, and not have things all over the place. And if you ever need more storage, you can get like some USB drives or something. Yeah, and it's, it's actually a pretty nice looking SSD. It's Kingston, so it'll be, it'll be good speed. 
And then, um, okay, so about the, the power supply, so... You need to grab the other one. <laughs> yeah, you can grab that. <laughs> Basically, for the power supply, um, we're still waiting for it, but we actually ordered, which I'll put a, you know, I'll put a picture of it of what it'll look like, because you guys might have not seen one before. Basically, it'll plug into what is a 90 watt, um, it plugs straight into the motherboard. And you basically just plug this into one of the cords on it. It doesn't put off any heat, no noise. You don't have to have a big bulky power supply like this. And it's, I mean, it's literally, you know, this big by this big. It's just enough to cover the 24 pin slot. So that'll be really nice for that. It'll save so much room, not put off any heat, no noise, and a really simple cable. So that's why we got that. We're actually just still waiting on it. So, um, because we got everything else today and we were like, well, we don't want to wait another three days to the video. So. We said, why not just use this little guy, or big guy, big in guy. this case, yeah, just to test everything out and show you guys that it all works, and we can use it for the benchmarking because it's not really going to make a difference in performance anyway. So, yeah. Alright, so we've already reviewed everything, so how do you say we go ahead and uh, start working on the case? Let's do it. Alright, so here's the second part of the first video, so now we're going to be doing the dangerous part of drilling the holes into the actual acrylic case. <laughs> Alright, so I'll hold it. Alright, so yeah, you can see we marked them off. Um, it's kind of. Yeah, so yeah, we used a sharpie, so let's hope that worked out right. Alright, Alright, so now we got them all marked, and now we're gonna make sure everything fits. Alright, so as you can see, we have two of the holes drilled in, so we're actually, as of right now, deciding not to use the other two, and we'll go through and actually fill those with an acrylic, but later on we might end up using them, so it's kind of like a, you know, so-and-so if we want or if we don't want to, because it's actually really sturdy with just two at the moment, so. so. on your side, it's in there. It's, yep, it actually looks pretty good. Yep. yep, it's pretty sturdy, so. We'll go ahead and move on to some other stuff, like getting the um, I.O. figured out, and then getting the cooler figured out. Alright guys, so we ran across our first issue. Yeah, so uh, we'll just go ahead and show you our first stump. <laughs> yeah, this is what ended up happening. Basically, we were using a, you know, a little, I don't even know what you call this, like high-speed steel saw, something like that. Let's, let's just restart that. Alright, so we ran into our first problem. You can see we kind of, we were going to obviously fix this up, but what happened was we ended up cutting into the light socket a little bit. <laughs> into the, well, not the actual socket, but what covers it. So we decided that's not professional looking. We're going to actually use this really nice acrylic. We'll trace it and then we'll cut it out to perfect cut the lid and then we'll do each individual hole for the IO. So that will look a lot better. All right, we are back, guys, and you can see we have the sort of finished product. So we will explain everything that happened while I'll kind of explain what happened. So we had the lid, right, for the fish tank in the first place, but we tried to cut that out and it didn't look good. Yeah, it just wasn't gonna look good. So then we cut out a piece of acrylic, as you can see right here, and we were just gonna sit it on top and had the I.O. just be like a thing to support it. So we did that, but then we're like, okay, this is not gonna work because we have the pump and these hoses are going in and it's gonna not work. So we tried to cut little notches for the hoses to go in, but that still didn't work, so we, Jackson actually had the idea of raising it up and having it just on these little ledges, so it's screw, you can screw it in and then yeah. unscrew it, but like it's basically up on these ledges and it's like a kind of lid. Yeah, it's basically, you know, we had to have a little gap there to actually better get those hoses in. Um, but yeah, the radio actually turned out to look really nice. We had to custom put that in if you want to turn to the back of it so you can see how we did that. Yeah, so you can see those little brackets back there, um, apparently, like, well actually we, I, we already knew this, well I already knew it. AM1 motherboards actually only have two little holes instead of four like a normal motherboard, so where you see those two little like here and then here, it's actually just two pieces of metal that we drilled into and then basically we drilled into one of the mounts, I don't even know which mount it was, it was just one of the mounts and that had four brackets. No, it, only had, it only had two uh, hookups to it, so I guess there is other ones that have two holes, but yeah, we just used a two-hole one and then customized it pretty much, which you guys will be able to see. And then, um, yeah, I guess show them the radiator again. So it's actually a pretty nice looking radiator. I like it. Yeah, I it looks pretty good, and it's pretty solid with this whole thing. Just... Yeah, you can pick up the whole thing. How much do you think it weighs? Maybe four or five pounds? Probably. And 
it's just we're just gonna have to do some testing on it and <laughs> make sure everything works. Yeah, properly. so this is basically yeah, this is basically part one. We don't have right now the CPU is in, but the RAM, the SSD, um, and then the, obviously the power supplies uh, are not in. So we'll save that for the actual um, you know the second and third part of us actually putting it together once we get the power supply and then the benchmarking will also be with that so yeah that's the end of part one i hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to subscribe and we will be Thumbs back up. with part two and three sometime in the future yeah, it should be within the next few days yeah. i'd say so it shouldn't take long. yep all right thanks for watching